Hey internet, it's Jesse at Ish Guitars, and today we are opening another acoustic from the original order that I made uh, two years ago after the uh, Luthiers, uh, Woodstock Luthiers Invitational that I attended with Paul Miles, the private stock director and the PRS crew there. This one is extra, extra, extra special. It might be the most exciting one out of the bunch. So at that event, they had a guitar uh, which I purchased, uh, PRS that is, that was built out of white babinga. You've probably heard of babinga. You definitely haven't heard of white babinga because I didn't even know that was a possible thing. Um, and PRS had two pieces of it. Um, of those two pieces, that guitar was built of one. It sounded incredible. A local customer of ours bought it here and he super loves it. Wow. Look at this case. Oh. Already exciting. Uh, and they had one more piece left. So of course I said, I have to have it and build a guitar out of it. So this is that guitar. Now, Paul Miles, the private stock director actually texted me and said that this is one of his favorite guitars he has ever built acoustic. And that means a lot because Paul doesn't say stuff like that. Um, and I have not yet seen it. Ready? Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Oh, I want to keep it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ready oh, for this? Okay. Look at that. Holy crap. This guitar is going to fly. Oh, this was neck. such a good build. Did you see the neck yet? Yes. Wow. The red, do you see the red purfling? Oh, yeah, this is here. so good. Yeah. Okay, this is basically me unleashing my full mind on acoustic stuff. Um, you know, usually we do a lot of electric builds, obviously. How is my phone always on in videos? Um, <laughs> it never stops Every ringing. time, I know, every time. <laughs> um, like this, this, was, this was weeks of, of studying um, acoustic builds and, and woods and things, and then applying a bunch of different funky thoughts I had. Um, you know, obviously mostly we do electrics. Um, acoustics are relatively newer uh, endeavor for me design-wise. Oh about my this God, inlay. this is insane. Okay, so this inlay was done on a Woodstock Luthiers Invitational um, guitar. Uh, it's going back three years ago now that we purchased. It was a one-off inlay they did just for that event. Um, and we ended up doing it on a customer build after that. We ended up doing it on, uh, I think a couple of customer builds after that actually. Um, and um, so with this one, I had them change it a little bit and uh, uh, do a little bit different material in this block where these two eagles are fighting on the 12th fret. I love that there's the other birds watching these eagles fighting, the, the feathers falling off them as they fight. It's wild. It's so cool. Um, this also actually has normal babinga as the binding. So to make this kind of extra funky, to make this kind of extra funky. So this is the white babinga on the back. And then this is a normal babinga as the binding. So it almost has like this flip flop of, you know, your traditional more kind of reddish, ruddy colored uh, babinga and then the, the, uh, the white babinga on the back and sides. There's also babinga binding on the neck. On the headstock, this is uh, normal babinga for the tuner buttons. And then this is, uh, I should probably mention, you're probably wondering why this is all pink. It's pink ivory, <laughs> um, which is an amazing tone wood actually. Uh, pink ivory is one of my, one of my favorite tone woods. Um, it's a cousin of ebony and happens to be this pinkish color uh, naturally like this. So you've got this pink bridge, this rosette also goes with this inlay where there's actually these feathers on, on the inside of the rosette. And this is inlaid with normal babinga and white babinga. So they took a little bit of white babinga out of the back side of this piece of wood. Um, and so there's matching white babinga, uh, alternating I should say white babinga and normal babinga set into more pink ivory. This build is literally like Ish Guitars at its finest. This is a guitar you can never get again. I looked for white for white babinga, 
Most people don't even know it exists. I have no idea where this stuff came from. It's so highly figured for any Babinga. Um, that's so highly figured and it's white, so weird. Um, and just like everything on this, this is a truly one off guitar. I, I couldn't even build it again for it if I wanted to. Look how figured even that spruce top is, bear claw spruce. This is insane. I really want to keep this. Should I keep this? Probably. No, I can't. I don't even I play bass. I play acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sometimes. so cool. All right, well, um, we're definitely going to have to do a playing video of this. I'm betting it sounds awesome. Not in tune. That's actually... It sounds kind of scoop. It is pretty scoop. I like that. Let me turn it real quick. Last one. Um, it's very bright. It's definitely bright. Uh, Babinga is a, 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 a pretty dense wood, um, so it has a lot of brightness to it, but it's got a lot of body as well. Um, a little bit of scoop kind of to it, but my gosh, it just like, you touch this guitar and you can just feel this, this top just explode. So like you can feel the whole thing resonate like crazy. I mean, I'm just kind of almost barely touching that with my finger. And then when you finger pick, it has lots of... Lots of warmth and body to it too. This sounds incredible. The sound and look is just insane. That's loud. Jeez, when I just stopped playing it, it was like... <laughs> I am going to agree with Paul. I think this might be, uh, th this is my favorite acoustic build we have done to date easily. It might be one of my favorite acoustics I've ever seen. I mean, obviously I designed it, you know, so I get uh, to give myself credit on that, but God, this is good. And LR Bags Electronics. This is going to sound great plugged in. Oh, and there's figuring in the pink ivory fretboard. You can just barely tell. All right, well, I'm just going to go put this in my office and look at it now. <laughs> so buy this before I keep it. Okay, so we've been drooling over this guitar for a couple days, literally. Um, and my God, it's still so good. Every time I yeah. see it, I freak out. Um, so Austin Harris is the private stock builder down at PRS, there's one guy that builds the private stock acoustics. It's Austin, he's super chill. We have a lot of goofy photos uh, of him and or me. And um, uh, Paul Miles, the private stock director, um, I was just texting him about this guitar earlier actually. And, I mean, it, and, and Paul is a man of few words and he said, quote, this is Austin's best work. That's it, a big deal. Let played, that sit in for a second. I mean, this like is like a dream. This is a this is a head of private stock of one of the largest guitar companies in the world. So this is Austin's best work. This guitar right here. That is really cool. I'm super honored by that. Also too, because this is all cool specs and stuff that I picked. Um, but thank you, Austin, for yes, thank you for guys. doing this uh, ridiculous project <laughs> that we came up with. Um, I'm going to try to get Austin on video here. We'll see what happens if we can get him remotely uh, on a Zoom call or something to give us a little more insight the on this piece. nitty gritty. Exactly. Yes. Um, but so uh, this was also uh, about a two-year build. Actually, almost exactly a two-year build to the Woodstock Invitational two years ago. So I'm going to crack another beer. Crack your second uh, beer. Because this is our – we shot a video earlier with another guitar. Ooh, that was much better I than know, the last three. Good time. That we also took two years or two and a half years to get. Cheers. 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 So it's definitely beer time. 
Um, but now we want to show the world why it is that this super rare, highly figured white babinga um, is as good as I've been oh, hyping yeah. it up to be. It, I almost want you to stop talking just so I can play it. Oh, like, I'm, I'm getting there. I know, I know. I, know. I gotta it's tell rude. the people know, all these good things. All right, I'm gonna grab the guitar. Okay, okay, okay. You just want to play it. I know. I'll sit here for like the last. Show in the back minutes. really quick. Just show in the back. Oh, oh, oh. It just makes me make involuntary sounds. Oh, it's so good. And from every angle, that's the weirdest thing about this white babinga. Mm -hmm. With maple, it's like you get the chatoyants here and here, right? But with this white babinga, any angle, it seems like it just yeah. pops. It's crazy. It is. No, it really is like that creepy art thing where the lady's mm. eyes chase you around. <laughs> I swear. You can't. It, it moves. It's borderline holographic over the here. The lady's eyes follow you. Mm -hmm. We should have inlaid some eyes in the back of that. I got some googly eyes. You know, we can get them. <laughs> Stick them right on. Um, beautiful. Should we play her? Play it. such a gorgeous sounding guitar. So easy to play. Like, it's obnoxious. Would you say it plays like an electric? Yeah, I mean, it's that. it really is that easy. Like, especially when I've played a lot of acoustics. Um, I've played tons of nice acoustics. Um, you sometimes feel like you have to really work for the low strings. They really hold their life. Mm -hmm. Physically, like, you really have to keep it going. But this thing, it just opens up everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, even when we were sitting in the other day when it came in, we sat there, and even when you just go nice and easy, dynamically. It's so even. It's, it's insane. It sounds so pretty. It literally makes me like mm -hmm. feel funny inside. It sounds mm -hmm. so good in person. It's like I can't even explain it. I love it. Um, <clears throat> Can you just play it more? Mm this really interesting um, like low mid mm -hmm. frequency that I normally don't hear in a lot of acoustics. Um, it has a lot of front port projection that you really don't hear in a lot of um, acoustics, believe it or not. Um, so interesting fact about these guitars, the private stock acoustics, uh, you don't see a lot of them around, but they are truly some of my favorite acoustic guitars. And it's not just because I love PRSs. All right. But using your ears, they sound so good and play so good. So one of these reasons why is that Paul's acoustic guitar building theory, uh, Paul Smith, is that if you think of a speaker cone, okay, if it looks kind of like this, you know the cone's shooting out this way, the back of the cone, right, is a harder material, and the yep. front, it's pushing outwards, okay? Right. And so why wouldn't you make a acoustic guitar like a speaker cone. Spec it. Yeah. Right? So what they do is they actually tune the tops of these guitars. And what happened was, I guess one day, Paul Reed Smith plays every private stock that leaves the factory. And he'll have, mm -hmm. have them adjust specs or whatever. But the reason why he does that, A, is because they want the QC to be just out of this world. And B, is because they want to see if they find one that sounds crazy good for some reason and then find out why. Which, to me as a company, is just mind blowing. Oh, it's right, so cool. Yeah. So he was playing an acoustic guitar. This was about probably about two years ago, um, two maybe three, and this one that happened to come through just sounded so so good, and they couldn't figure out why. And so they tried a bunch of things, and they put a tuner on the top of the guitar, and they put a tuner on the back of the guitar. Oh. And they discovered that this guitar happened to be a perfect octave apart from the back 
to the top, the wood That's, itself. That is next level. So if you think about this, okay, if you have a um, uh, a one, right, and talk about music, right? A one and a five in, mm -hmm. a, in a scale. Root and a fifth. It's gonna, yep. yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna resonate pretty well. Yep. If you have a one and a seven, it's gonna be really dissonant. If you have a one and a two, it's gonna be really dissonant. If you have an octave, it's gonna be just perfectly yeah. no dissonance yep. whatsoever if you're in tune, right? Mm -hmm. So this guitar was that perfect octave apart. It just so happened. So they actually figured out how they could start tuning the tops and backs. So, and I haven't done this yet on this guitar, so you can do it and you can be my proof what, what's of the it, what, what key is it tuned to? I don't know, we can probably oh. figure it out. So tap the top of that guitar right below the bridge. Cool, now flip it over so the mic can hear and tap the back. Is that an octave? I don't even know, my ear's not that good. You're the Berkeley guy. I mean, I've never even thought about that ever as a thing. It, make, it makes sense. It makes no, sense. No, me neither. This blew my mind when I heard yeah. it. It's crazy. So you end up with this tight back, right, mm -hmm. that the sound waves just naturally flow out. The they want to go out the front of the guitar. And that's like when we were first playing. Like when we first picked up on the box, it was so easy to play. And, that, and that's probably part of it that... It's super resonant. It's just a loud guitar. It's when Tom was playing it behind the camera, where he picked up, and I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah. It's it's loud. It just shoots, projects, just projects off the yeah. front. It's supposed to be a stage guitar, you know, a playing guitar, a stage guitar mm -hmm. that projects out the front of it. Really, really interesting stuff. Um, geez, it's just so gorgeous. <laughs> I want to keep it. Oh, uh, but I know it's gonna sell It'll so sell. fast. It'll sell. I know. And one of you will get it, and it's gonna be the best guitar you've ever bought. Um, geez, I don't even know what to say about this besides like mumbling on about. I'm gonna how play some guitar. How about that? Okay, that's a great okay. idea. I could listen to you play this all day. Ah, uh, yeah, I could probably do nothing with the rest of my life. <laughs> I could sit here and play this all day. It'd be beautiful. All right, that is our private stock and jealous white babinga. This is two of two. There was two pieces of this wood ever. We sold the first one. This is the second one. I had to have it. And um, whoever buys this guitar is going to be the last one with a yeah. piece of white babinga ever. I'm serious. Google it. You can't find this stuff. Maybe you can now because we, you know, built that one guitar. But it's. I no, had no idea yeah. it even existed. It's crazy. This is the most one-off, one-off guitar. Mm -hmm. ever. Like, this thing is amazing. So special. So enjoy it if you buy it, and um, we'll see you soon. Subscribe uh, to see our other crazy videos of these ridiculous guitars we build, and um, we'll see y'all soon. See ya.